Hi everyone, we are doing uh, part three of our little mini series on how to do the uh, roses and gears uh, that are part of my uh, kit on Etsy for the embellishment pack and I had promised this video to to those that uh, purchased um, those embellishment packs and so here it is it's a week late and I apologize for that but we're on to the gears we've got uh, these gears these are Tim Holtz gears uh, from uh, uh, both uh, gadget gears and there's also uh, movers and shapers uh, this one's from the movers and shapers um, and I also have some spellbinders gears here and uh, I think I might have one other I do have this one as well uh, but anyway, so here's the melting pot. This is a Ranger melting pot, and uh, I've already got some uh, some of the uh, UD in there. And this is the UD. It's the uh, ultra thick embossing enamel U T E E. Uh, that hence the name. Uh, so uh, this is what I use, and um, you can pick this up at Michaels. You can pick both of these up at Michaels. I got mine with. Uh, with coupons and what's in here was already in here I used to scoop it all out and save it and uh, throw it back in there and remelt it but it's just as easy to just leave it in there um, it does amber and it yellows and it gets little little bits of uh, paper in it but it, that's really not an issue if you're using dark colors and I'm almost always using black and um, that yellow ambering and uh, bits and pieces they never show up on black but if you are if I were to use uh, white or some kind of cream or uh, then I would um, scoop all that out and start with a fresh pot and um, a fresh UD and all of that and, and I would use it quickly but the longer you let this UD sit in here the darker it's going to get but this is not quite enough, so I'm just going to sprinkle in a little bit, and it's going to melt rather quickly. And it comes with um, its own uh, heat-safe spatula, which you definitely want to uh, keep track of. A lot of people lose theirs. Now you want to stir this slowly. You don't want air bubbles in it. Just like you wouldn't want uh, uh, air bubbles in your glossy accents. Difference is, is that glossy accents takes longer to dry, uh, whereas this dries almost immediately. So you don't have a chance to pop those bubbles. Uh, so we've got some on here. All you got to do is touch it. You can see how quickly it dries. See it already dried. And you can take that piece and throw it right back in there and let it melt. There's next to no waste on here. And I just stuck that to my fingernail. Uh, there's next to no waste in here. Okay, so we're going to start out with a chipboard piece. And uh, I don't have all of the tools, but uh, I'm putting it face down in there. Let it set for just a minute. Sometimes it gets little bubbles on it. And then I turn it over and check it, and that's pretty good. And set it down and that is that and so I'm going to move this and I try to stay in the shallowest end and little by little I move it back because I don't want to I don't want the back side I don't want it completely submerged And that one was a little white. Whoops. Whoopsie. Uh, 
that's pretty good. It's getting a little white on there, which they do sometimes. All right, so there's those. And I wanted to, let me get a couple of these done. can get this out of here. <laughs> All right, there we go. I have to touch the top of it. Not bad. Again, this is uh, this is like uh, worse than hot glue. You definitely uh, don't want to get this on you. You'll be regretting it. I think I actually did the reverse side of this. I put this in upside down, so I'm going to flip it over because I can tell the difference between uh, right side up and upside down on these. But it doesn't want to pick up. It's really being a stinker. Here's where the fingernails come in handy. There it does. <laughs> The law of averages or law of odd Newtons. Newton's law. Oh, all right. All right. It's really being a stinker, but I think we're going to just. Let me just let it dry. Or here, here we go. I'm going to put it right there. All right, and let's get let's get that in there the right way. When I play with these, uh, when I pull out the UD pot, I usually do about um, I have a whole bunch of die cuts that I put in a box and um, and I um, save them up. So that when I pull out my UD pot, um, I've got them ready to go. Get some of this off of here. They do make some tools that are especially for this, um, but I think you have to buy them online, and I haven't. So this one's got too many. Things too many, too much gunk in in between in these little holes of the gears, and I want to try to melt some of that away. That's better. Okay. So there's one other thing I wanted to try, and that we did this, uh, and we did this um, um, at the at the last class, and we tried to put a little bit of glitter in here, and I want to see this is the same kind of glitter. I don't know uh, if this glitter is heat safe or anything, but. Um, I did want to see, this is kind of that blue that you see in steampunk spells, and I haven't, uh, since the class ended, I have not embellished, embellished it up. It's still just the way I, I made it just for the class, and so I still need to finish the embellishments on that. And I thought that this would be kind of cute. Now what I'm doing is I'm trying to dip it. I don't know if you guys can see this. But um, I'm trying to dip it and to, trying to get it to... Um... Yeah, there we go. Oh, look. Perfect. I don't know if you can see that. Can you see that blue glitter in there? It's not showing it a little bit. 
you can see it a little bit. It's beautiful. Um, so definitely the glitter works. If you hold these things long enough <laughs> uh, in the tweezers they cool down and you can take them straight off of there. I love this blue glitter. The only thing is, is that once you've got that blue glitter in that beauty, you uh, you definitely have to clean it out once you're done because it's it is in there. There's no going back on that. But I really wanted to try this, and I'm glad I did because this really fits a steampunk spells. It's gonna look. Uh, Great inside the album. Ay -ya. And it does not want to come out of there. Okay, fine. Let's lift him up. Oh. Okay, let's just let him cool there for a minute. Not too bad. And then this one, um, even though it's missing part of it, I'm still going to use it because you could easily put a flower right here and you'd never know uh, that it was missing a piece. And so this was one of the uh, pieces that from the scrap that was cut out, the scrap uh, chipboard. And uh, I don't like to waste anything if I can at all help it. Let's see how that came out. Oh, that's great. That one came out great. Let's hold it there for a second. Let it cool. And there we go. Now I want to try one of these in this glitter. I know this takes a little while. Oh, it didn't get quite enough glitter on it, I don't think. We need to get in there. <laughs> Let's get them in there. Ooh, that looks really neat. What about on both sides? Let's just dip them all the way in there. He's almost covered anyways. Now we'll have a choice of either side. Okay. It's trying to pick up too many. Okay, there we go. I think that'll work. I let it drip off. Okay, there was also something that one gal did at the crop. Let's see which. And uh, I wanted to see if I could duplicate it. It was her first time using the UD pot, and she was an absolute natural. Um, it's got a little piece that needs to melt over there, and yeah, just enough to reheat it is all we need. Yeah, you could really spend hours doing this for sure. Okay. All right, so what she had done was she took this, and I'm going to be very careful, but she said that she drug it through here, right, and she got it all covered as best she could, right, and then she then she flipped it over. And then she took and poured 
the UD into the flower, getting it in between all of those little creases and all in between all those little petals. Okay, and then she said she flipped it over. Of course, our <laughs> our um, flower is falling apart because our flower was made with hot glue, which is now melting. She didn't use hot glue. We used glue in the class. So, it's trying to fall apart a little bit. So, she, she turned it over and basically let it drain out of... out of from between the leaves. Oh, and it did it, it actually did work. Oops. It's falling apart again. Okay. I see a little back of the leaf that wasn't covered. Let's turn it over and see what we got. So we've got kind of a glass looking rose. Let me see if I can bring it down here and take a look at it. It's not really showing. This camera really does not like the black. No, it's not showing. Uh, but it does look like a black rose. Huh. I wonder if I change what I my background if it'll show better. No, it'll flush it out. No, it will it won't show. Oh darn it. Um well, I guess we're just going to have to do another video um, showing uh, what we ended up with, showing up our results. But here's the glitter in the Uni Pot, and it's kind of a an aqua color, and it was just this uh, cheap uh, glitter that I got for a dollar a, a piece at the Expo here in uh, Dallas-Fort Worth. And uh, so here's our pieces here. You can see the glitter in these. And here's the regular, and here's here's with the the glitter again, and look at this piece. How great is that? I love that. This one came out well as well. See, nice and thick pieces. All right. So, okay, well, I guess we're probably going to have a part four because I wanted to give you guys some tips. That's my little boy playing. <laughs> I better go tend to him. Uh, so part four we'll have, uh, we'll go over using um, diamond glaze and um, um, glossy accents. Okay, thanks. Bye.